pretty dark back here, but if you come to the back of your blue and gray uh, OM Tech, basically what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this fan mounted here, and then you'll see this ducting mounted to the back of the fan. So what you wanna do is there's, there were two bolts holding mine in. So I undid those bolts, took this out, your wires, I've already cut my wiring, but your wires are gonna run down in this cable tray here. It runs all the way along the bottom on mine. Yours may be slightly different, these are Chinese, but um, I had the two, you have the two power cables, and then I also had a ground that was on the one of the screws. So I clipped, I clipped these obviously, and then you can follow it through this grommet over here on the side. And if you come over here, come over here and you can just kind of tug. The uh, yellow and green here is gonna be your ground. And it comes up to this common ground post right here. I'm gonna remove that off of there shortly. Um, and then your power wires, mine came through, here they are. And I haven't pulled them out yet, but there's another cable tray down here. All right, so your cable tray here, I just wound up getting a screwdriver just to pry the edge of it up a little bit and lift it out. And then these are my fan, I know it's dark, but these are my fan wires. So I'm just gonna find them in there. I'm gonna pull them out and they're gonna go down to this bus block. I can almost guarantee it. And they do, I'm gonna remove this. This is the cover for the cable tray. And they come down to this bus block here. And all you have to do is figure out which ones are the ones you're manipulating. Obviously, I haven't said this, but you wanna make sure your laser's unplugged. You don't wanna be monkeying around in here with power. Um, all right, so I can see on my laser, these two terminals right here, these first two. Are the uh, the fan terminals so you pull that plastic cover off and you can get down in here man it's dark I'm blocking it get down in here with your screwdriver loosen that terminal and loosen that terminal out and then come back and just you know tuck all your other wires back down in there so you don't have a mess pull your wires out why is my phone acting silly it's too dark tighten these back up and so now you know if you need 110 volt power, you can always tap in here because you've got free terminals. So that's really all you need to do to remove. Um, I guess the next thing really is what I did is uh, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to mount that right there on the housing on the back, just straight to that flange. And then I went to Home Depot. Actually, that's a lie. The wife went to Lowe's. <laughs> We got this eight inch, we're running the uh, cloud line eight inch fan. And I'm gonna mount this on the outside so I can mount my eight inch hose to it. I thought about pulling all that out, but I'm just gonna leave it six inch to here and then we'll go eight inch out of the back of the machine. So that's really all there is to swapping out the fan on a uh, blue and gray 80 watt.